Right. Slack on the go. Back with another video. Back here at Alan Samuels Dodge Waco. If y'all interested in these vehicles, man, hit up LD or Shelby. Uh, yeah. But let's see what they got today, man. See if these prices are going down, if they're going up. But uh, shout out to all my subscribers. Yeah, subscribe to my channel, man. Please take this time, subscribe, and uh, let's get to it. This is by far my favorite Challenger here. I like this Challenger more than the, than the T8s. You know why? Because the 2016 is an SRT. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just Here's about 34,000. Yeah, about 34,000, 38,000 miles on it. I'll be interested in it. Oh, it's a stick, too. It's got manual transmission. SRT 108 mile an hour on the dash. Sticker man, 63,480. 2022 Challenger TA 392. Big money, man. Big money for a scat Big old SRT six piston Rimbo brakes. GT next to it. anything new.
all wheel drive, 2022 all wheel drive. 38,000. I wonder if the all-wheel drive SXT can be an RT. It's like a police like. It ain't got no. Uh... Two thousand twenty-two. All-wheel drive SXT. We got the RT next to it. I think the all-wheel drive will beat the RT. Dodge needs to come back and just go all the way out with Hellcat scat packs to 2032, man. Forget all this electric stuff. But man, we losing right now. We losing. These Mopars sitting right here means people ain't buying them, people ain't driving them. And what are you gonna see? You're gonna see Mustangs, you're gonna see Camaros. You're gonna see more of those cars because all these Mopars are gonna be sitting. Because Dodge doesn't have a handle on their dealerships and they're letting their dealerships mark up these prices, which is crazy. But that's gonna do it for this video, man. TA Scat Pack's still here. All wheel drive SXTs. If you're interested in these vehicles and you got the money and you don't care, come out of these vehicles. But uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. But thank y'all for watching.